Hey everybody, Dr. Green here. Last time we talked about running MapReduce jobs using Python and Hadoop. Um, today we are going to talk about using a library to do the same thing, just to make our lives a little bit easier. The library we're going to use is called Mr. Job or MapReduce Jobs, MR Job. Um, and there's some great things in here, right? So you can go to this website mrjob.readthedocs.io. It'll take you right here and you can read all about this, the overview of this library, why use it instead of something else, all these kind of things. Um, it's a nice little library. It's going to make our job and our lives a lot easier. Now I've already installed this in the Docker images for you. So if you want to install it locally, you can use pip or conda or anything like that to go ahead and install mrjob according to this. So you'll see the quickest way to get started here is to go to writing your first job under fundamentals. It will teach you how to install it and we'll write our first job. Okay? Um, this is our first job. It's very, very simple, very, very clear, uh, and it's just very, very easy. So you will see uh, I have the same thing here. We can go in here. We can look at wordcount.py. Uh, basically, I have copied this in here. Note the key things here. We've imported Mr. Job from Mr. Job .job import MR Job. Okay? And what we want to do here is we have this name equals main, which I've explained before. Uh, we're going to say MR word frequency count dot run. Uh, and this is the class we've created. Okay? This is the way that Mr. Job works. We create a class that inherits from MR Job. Inside that class, we replace the steps in the MapReduce process. Here we have the mapper. Okay, and here we have the reducer. In Python, when you have a class function, the first uh, item in the parameter list is always the self. Uh, and then we have these other items coming in here, right? So you'll see key values for this, the line coming in. Uh, and then we're using the Python keyword here, yield. And what this is going to yield is the number of characters is the length for each line. We are going to yield words, which is the length of the line dot split, right? So that's counting the number of words. It's taking the line, splitting it up, and telling us how many resulting words exist. And then we're just saying this is one line. So what this mapper will do is this mapper will actually output all three items. Uh, the reducer is going to take key value pairs in there and sum up the values based on the same key. Yield is just a keyword inside of Python for lazy evaluation, which can help for performance and all those kind of things. Now, you'll notice that I have my mapreduce.md map file here, and I have these two things here. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and run this inside of our uh, <coughs> Docker container. So we'll see what's going on. So as always, docker exec minus it name node bash. We'll go ahead and start that. Okay. We're going to go into our workspace directory, which we exposed. And there we have our word count file. So you'll see I can say this. I'm looking for my local input. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to use data slash words dot text. Okay. Um, you'll see Python, it jumps in there, no special kigs, it creates a temp directory, it reads from standard in. The job is here, streaming final output, and it counts the number of characters, the number of words, and the number of lines. So it's done its job, right? Uh, this has literally gone in and said, I'm going to output these values with characters, words, and lines. Uh, and reducer has summed them all up for us. Now, you'll note when you look in here, there are other steps you can take. There's a really nice detailed explanation of exactly what will happen here and, and how it works. Um, and that is really wonderful. You need to read through all of it and make sure you understand. Now, we do have another way that we can run this code. Okay? Uh, the other way that we can run this code is using Hadoop and HDFS. Uh, now, you note the command here is a little bit different. Python 3.5 word count dot pi, because I'm in the code directory, minus r. This is how I tell it how to run my file. Um, but then I need my HDFS input, right? So this one's a little different. I need to access HDFS. Uh, and I'm going to say just look in the data directory, because I know that's where I have words, OK? Um, so you'll note this is a typical access method hdfs colon slash slash i do have to add the extra slash because this is at the root and if i go ahead and hit that you will see that it's going to go ahead and hey it's uploading working files directory files to hdfs you'll see it opened up hadoop streaming.jar uh, it's copying my local files it's running the steps 
it's connecting and it's doing all its work. Uh, while it runs, you'll see here that this is exactly how you use this code, okay? So they give you lots of examples here. You can just pass it the text file. You can pipe the text files in. You can pass multiple input files. You can run it on Hadoop. Uh, and you'll see this is exactly the type of example that we've used here to access the appropriate file system. And so it does all this. Uh, it gives you your output and you are in excellent shape here. You are good to go. Now you will see that they have a second way of doing this here, right? They have a second job, right? You'll need more than one step and to define multiple steps, you override steps to return a list of this. So you will see here, if I go into my multiple steps, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. I'm gonna make a new file here. And we will save this file as most used word dot pi. Okay. Uh, so you'll see this is actually really similar. We call this mr most used word dot run. MR most used word is just our class. It inherits from this. Uh, this is a special expression called a regular expression. You do not need to use this. Uh, we've actually imported this here as well, or they have imported this here. Um, but this is just finding patterns of words. So you'll see what happens is they actually override the steps. Okay, so they have one step is we map, combine, and reduce. And in the second step, we reduce to find max words one more time. So you'll see map or get words, yield each word in the line. So for a word in find all, right? So what it's actually doing, it applies this pattern and you can read up on regular expressions to understand this. For word in this expression dot find all in the line, yield the lowercase version of my word with a one. Combiner, count words sum up all the key value pairs that have the same word as the key. Fantastic. Reducer count words. Send all num occurrence pair words to the same reducer. Yield none, sum counts. Okay, it's summing out all the words. And then we find the maximum amount of words that have occurred. Uh, so what happens here? Each item of word count pairs is count word. So yielding one results in key counts value word and we're just asking for the max. So you can see this here again. I can go right in here and let's see what happens when I run it. You'll see we're actually gonna run this in Hadoop at this point. It's copying my files over. It's running step one of two. And in a moment, the job will complete running. Right, you'll see we have multiple steps here. Now it is important to realize that in MapReduce, you can repeat this cycle multiple times, right? So you can have multiple steps that do this map, combine, reduce, or even a step that just has a reducer. So you'll see in this process, we do have a map, a combine, and a reduce, followed by another step where we reduce. Uh, and you'll see that, right? See, so here is the first part finished. Right, they give you the output, all the kind of stuff. And then right here, running step two of two. Right, the map is 50% right, it's gonna go through this process. Streaming final output. And there you go, that is the most commonly used word in this document, it is SED. Now you will note, right, so I can go back here and run this without Hadoop. or map root, well, without Hadoop, right? And you'll see it actually runs much more quickly. So you might be asking, why are we doing this using a Hadoop and Apache Hadoop? So please remember that these are toy projects. They are using small data sets. We are gonna start using data sets once you get the concepts down that are much larger and that would take a very long time to run on your local computer, but when run in parallel across a cluster, will run at much higher speeds and use resources much more efficiently. So I hope this helps. I hope it brings you some clarity and I'll see you next time online.